Hi guys, I'm back with another tutorial on Scratch, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make um, a simple shooter game. So I'm going to be showing you how to fire a bullet out of the end of a gun, um, just here. As you can see, I've I've already um, I've already made a uh, man here, and um, I've put in my gun as well. It's pretty pathetic, I know. I mean, it's not exactly it's not exactly an amazing gun, but anyway, um, it'll do. If you, you can make it like really good if you want. Um, and I've got a bullet here, which is just there. You can see it. It's just this little dot here. Um, and what you want to do is um, if I can move this. Okay, just move this to the tip of the gun to start with your bullet. You might want to lame it. Name it bullet if you want. Uh, I'm just gonna do that and make this man, I guess. And um, you're gonna wanna forever. You're gonna wanna make the bullet go to the um, gun, the tip of the gun. So when you fire, it's ready there to be moved that way. Okay. Um, so you're gonna want to start by doing the exposition. Now you can if you want. Um, Go into costumes, click edit, and uh, and set the costume center to the tip of the gun. Um, you can do that. However, I'm not going to do that because um, when the guy's going to face the other way, he's going to like it will look really weird. But believe me. But if you want to do it simply that way, you can. But I'm just going to do it a bit more complicated way. Um, but it looks a lot better. So um, so here you just want to. Go to X and Y, and I'm going to change these values. So um, we are going to get some, an operator here. Um, you'll need to look at the X position of your bullet. So here it's minus 160. It will be different depending because you'll you'll draw your own sprite, so it'll be different than this. And you've basically got to work out the difference between um, this number here and this number here. Um, so this is minus one nine two, and the difference between that and minus one six two is that thirty two. So we're going to add on thirty two to um, where is it? Uh, wait, 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 sorry. Uh, no, there it is. Ah, here we go. Exposition of man, and so. It's going to get the exposition of the man, which is probably about here or something. Um, and then it's going to add on 32, and I'm going to put that as the exposition. So it should. Why? Yeah, it should be on the tip. There you go. Um, and you'll obviously need to change this Y to, um, well, whatever uh, the, um, the Y position of. Um, the man is again. You might need to experiment with this, but yeah, see that's gone down a bit. Um, so we're going to have to um, we're going to have to find out the difference again. So uh, move this back here, and oops, okay, stop it. And um, so put your bullet. <laughs> this is really tricky to get up. Um, Sorry guys, there we go. <laughs> I had to pause the recording there, so I could actually do it. Um, and we're going to add on again. Uh, it's going to be add. Yes, it's going to be add. So um, we're going to get the man y position. So minus one two two, and minus. So I believe that is uh, eight. I'm going to plus on eight. Hopefully this should work. Um, put that in there, put that in there. Should understand that, there you go. And then basically, oh yeah, we can't move him yet, but um, when we move this man, this will uh, yeah, work like that. Um, we are just going to do this. And we're just going to put in art so we can actually move the uh, character. 
So we're just going to use um, standard method. You should understand this if you've been watching my other tutorials. This should be quite uh, quite easy to you now. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory what it does. So left and right arrow. Okay, and we are just going to change his uh, expo expositions and um, gonna make that minus three and this three. Okay. So yeah, that's working all right. Um, okay, and we're going to point him in the direction. And uh, um, by the way, um, in this forever loop, we're actually going to. If it's not being fired, we're just going to hide it, so you can't actually see it. But it's just going to be going there, and as soon as you press the space to shoot, it's going to be shown. Um, yeah. So. Um, we are going to put that point in direction. Uh, it's going to be left and point in direction. Right. Now this isn't. This is going to mess up. Yeah. We haven't. Um, yeah. You see, um, this needs to be. Um, we need to uh, use an if statement. So. Uh, if um, if uh, you just uh, if oh yeah okay let's just copy this sorry my mind kind of went blank there okay um kind of that uh just okay just put this in actually you'll want this at the top. Okay, and if left arrow press from the point in direction. So we just do the same for oh I hate that. <laughs> um it's very annoying. And uh use right, so there's our two point in directions and we are probably don't need that actually. Um well actually it's easiest as we do if we do that. So um and then we do if equals if uh, direction equals 90 we're going to use that and we're just going to want to if direction equals minus 90 which is left as you can see here we're going to minus instead uh, I don't want to make that minus there you go Okay, now basically I'll just explain this. In the bullet, we just want to start by pointing in direction 90, so I'm on the man, just so it doesn't get complicated. Um, basically, what's going on here, when we press the left arrow, the bullet itself is being pointed in these directions. It doesn't really do anything, but we need that to work out what to do with the X and Y positions. So. Um, we're going to sense here if direction equals 90, um, so he's facing the bullet, bullets facing right, we're going to use a plus because um, that's from the center of there. We're going to want to plus on an X to make it to go to the right, if you see what I mean. If it's minus 90, we're going to want to, from the center, we're going to minus 32, excuse me, um, this way, so the bullet comes here next to the tip of the gun. And we leave these the, the, these the same because um, we're just you know we're just um, we we don't need to flip them. Um, okay, and because they'll stay the same, we're not changing his y position. Okay, so once we've got that, I I if I you I just make a new when the green flag click script so it doesn't get too complicated from there. Um, and we're going to want to put in a forever uh, loop. Um, just here, and uh, we're going to put in an if statement. Um, oh no, we don't want an if statement. We want an if and else. Okay. So here we're going to um, go in sensing. We're going to 
sense whether the space key is pressed. So when we when we're gonna click the space key, we want the um, bullet to fire out the end of the gun. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah. So okay, and if it's not being pressed, we just want to um, uh, we just want to uh, put it back to the, to the gun. Um, so we're just gonna hide it, and um, we'll actually kind of want this code uh, in here. So there we go. Okay. Um, we want to hide it as well. So hide. So basically, this code will handle um, the pointing in directions, and uh, here we're just going to be at the start of the game. Um, it's going to go if the key space is pressed. Well, as soon as we start the game, the, key, the space key won't be pressed unless you're holding it down, of course. Um, so it's probably going to go to the else. So it's going to hide the bullet, and it's going to find out if the direction is 90, which probably is from here, unless you press these keys. It's going to go to that those positions. So we're going to hide it, and as you can see, part here um, to see it, and yeah. Uh, so yeah. Um, so that just handles that bit. Now, if the key, if the space key is pressed, we're gonna want to show it. Uh, and just to make sure that um, it's still in that same position, we're going to move it here. Just, just to be sure. Um, it's just easier that way. So we'll probably want this show. Oh, there we go, there we go, right. I know this looks complicated, but if you understand it, it's not that complicated. Um, as soon as we show it, we want to move it. Um, we want to move it off the end, and we're going to create a variable. Um, so, bullet speed. Um, oh, you know, we'll keep it available for full sprites, because we might want to use it for something else. Um, so, and we're going at the beginning, we just want to set boot speed to zero. Okay, um, okay. so, uh, so we've got this code here, so to show it, and then we're going to want to move it. So, um, we are just going to put in a repeat, um, it's in here, um, I'm going to repeat, that. repeat until. Now, um, here comes the tricky part. Um, we are going to want to repeat moving the bullet until it hits something. So you can either do it if it's like touching colour, but then you have to make all your enemies like the same colour. Um, if you don't want to do that, then you're going to have to um, put in lots of or operators. So like all touching sprite 1, sprite 2, etc, etc. Um, if you've got enemies. Um, if I were you, I would just make them the same colour. It's much easier. Um, but yeah, uh, you'll have to put in lots of alls if um, if you've got lots of different enemies um, that are different colours. Um, so I am not actually going to put in any enemies. Or I might do. I'm not sure at the moment. But um, we're first of all just going to um, put in the touching edge so when it hits the edge it wants to stop executing this code um, and so we're just going to um, change this bullet speed by uh, one um, yeah yeah that should work and then um, we're just gonna Actually, we probably want the bullet speed to get m more, uh, so we're going to set the bullet speed to bullet, uh, let me just, bullet speed, oh yeah, I have to do this. So uh, I've been coding in Python recently, and um, yeah, I'm much more orientated towards the coding rather than scratch. Um, I might be doing a... Uh, a tutorial, a Python tutorial, which is a lot more complex, but 
I think you're probably up to it. If you're, you know, if you're in your teens like I am, then I think you'll probably be up to it. It's not, it's not like really difficult. Um, and we're going to basically uh, move, move with its speed steps. Now, it's gonna probably gonna get very fast. Um, uh, let me just see what's happening here. Oh wait, no, we don't want that. We want to set. Sorry, we want to set. I hope this works. Uh, sorry guys. Um, for now, let's just make sure. Um. Just make sure it's actually reaching this code. It's a debugging process. Let's just do two, three for now. Yeah, it's just to do with that um, bullet speed thing. Um, hang on, guys. I'll just see what I've done wrong. Sorry, guys. Being a bit thick here. <laughs> I need to set bullet speed to a certain speed. Otherwise, it's zero. It's not going to work. So we're going to set bullet speed to probably three to start with. And then we're going to... Um, going to change bullet speed by one, and then we're going to move bullet speed steps. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. So yeah, as you can see, it gets faster as we go along. You might want to start it a bit more than that. I don't really know um, what you want. You can experiment. It might be even a bit too slow. I don't know. Put it up to twenty. See what that look that looks like. That might be slightly better. So yeah. That is pretty much it. Um, obviously, if you want to put in an enemy, then um, just by all means do that. Just draw a little enemy. Uh, and just in here, put repeat until touching edge or touching colour, which um, and make your the colour the colour of your enemy. Um, apart from that, guys, that's about it. Um, so thanks for watching. If you do like my tutorials, then you can subscribe if you want to. Um, Thanks for watching and yeah, bye.